Honorable Minister and my friend, Mr. Rudy, thank you, sir, for taking this time for a very important session that the entire FIKI uh, leadership looks at. India is passing through a very different times. In fact, the global economy is passing through a very different time. And more so for a country like India, which is a young country with a young population, this skill development mission and the skill development becomes completely imperative. The economy is growing 6, 7%, 8%, and over the years it has been growing almost 9%, and I'm sure with coming times, we will see the economy growing back to 7, 7.5%. The younger population in this country, almost 54% are below 25 years. If the economy is going to grow, you need developed, skilled people to come into employment. It's important to recognize that the Prime Minister speaks of three Ds, and demographic dividend is one of them. Sir, this demographic dividend, if not harnessed, and if it is not brought into the right perspective, this could become a huge, I would say, negative from Indian point of view. The Indian skills, as we see, we are only about 5% of people who are skilled, trained, and who can be employable. If you look at the economies around the globe, you look at Japan, 80%, you look at US, 52%, closer home on Asia, you look at about, 50, uh, about 24%. We cannot have this gap being what it is today from 5%, either to 80% or even closer home to 24%. World is moving in a direction that will actually catch all of us with great surprise. The fourth industrial revolution as we see, as things are happening today, clearly we are seeing internet of things. We are clearly seeing driverless cars. You're seeing 3D printing. You're seeing automation. This is only going to lead to less employment. If you look back, about 11 people created a million worth of GDP. Today, this is about five to six people. If you look at around the services industry, be it telecom, be it retail, be it any service industry, you are seeing much more automation. You're seeing artificial intelligence. You're clearly seeing the benchmarks are being changed. Can India afford with such young population who has to be employed of not training and not skilling their youth. It also sort of leads to the education side. We have been very traditionally a country which just educates people. You see people coming 10 plus two or even from college, they have degrees, but if you really scratch the surface, you are not gonna find that they are employable. We need to train them differently. We need to train them at the school level when the last two years come around for a, for a youngster who's gonna pass the school, you need to give him skill sets. If you want to create self-entrepreneurs, you need to give them a different skill set. Urbanization, sir, is happening very rapid. We are all seeing, especially in India. People are moving out of agriculture. People are coming to uh, manufacturing services. All of them, as we see, are bringing more and more pressure on the job markets, on the skill development market. This mission that has been uh, put across is a great initiative. But sir, as we always say, if we don't complete the task from mission to action, it is half-baked. I understand by 2022, almost 400 million people are being trained. This is where the partnership between the government and private sector, a partnership between government and associations must come around. Also, CSR activities are being done by most corporates. Skill development should also be a part of that. So a lot of companies can actually start developing skill centers not only in the urban centers, but more in the rural centers and, and, and I would say suburban centers. I don't want to be long here. We are all here to hear the minister and his vision and, uh, and the government's view on this. And of course, post that we'll have an interactive session. But sir, I know you're a pilot. You actually have seen many rough weathers. You pivot the planes through all of them. We do hope and we expect as a young dynamic minister, you will be actually taking this skill development mission to greater heights. So may I invite Minister Rudy to make his remarks.